Hey there, it's Dr. K with Infinite Magic Productions, and in today's episode, we're going to learn about how we can apply radicals to everyday life. Now, mostly when you think about radicals or square roots or cubic roots, I guess you just think of a boring old algebra textbook, but it doesn't really have to be that way. Radicals in everyday life are used, well, every day. So, um, the, easiest the easiest example of a radical that we can think of in everyday life would be to figure out, for example, the surface area of something. Let's say you're building a shelf. And this shelf is going to look like this, and it's going to have a certain surface area. Now, in order to figure out the length of one side of the shelf, we're going to have to take the square root. So in this case, we're going to take the square root of the surface area. Um, we can make this example slightly more difficult, and let's say we have something with a volume. We'll have a cube. So let's say you want to build a house, for example, and um, the house is going to have a certain volume. So from this volume, you're going to want to figure out the surface area of the house. So you want to know how tall you can build um, the ceilings and how big the house is going to be in terms of square footage. So here we're going to take the cubic root of the volume and that's going to give us the length of one of these sides. So this side for example. From there you can figure out the rest. Now if we want to get even more complicated, um, let's say that you're a physician I'm sorry, not a physician, a physics instructor or uh, somebody that works on rockets or rates. So you have a flow rate through a pipe at a certain rate, let's say it's 30 cubic centimeters per minute, 30 cc's per minute. And that's the flow rate of fluid going through this pipe. So. Um, if we want to figure out, for example, how fast the, move, the fluid is moving through this pipe in a cross-sectional view, or how fast it's going to take the fluid to go from this part of the pipe to this part of the pipe to this part of the pipe, it's taking it from this three-dimensional view to a two-dimensional view. So there, we're going to have to use a radical once again to figure that out. Um, so finally, I can leave you with this little number. And that is that the radicals are used in everyday life because our cells and everything in nature is pretty much made up with the concept of the Fibonacci series sequence or uh, the golden rule. And that is um, that everything in life is made up with the three quarter power rule. And let's make it more applicable. Uh, by saying, for example, working, looking either at our veins or the way that trees grow or something like that or the way that uh, snails lay down shells. We're going to look at trees, for example. And when a tree grows, here is a tree growing. When it branches from the main trunk here, this is the main trunk, this branch is going to have the volume or the surface area of three quarters of the main trunk. So if the main trunk has a volume of x, this tree limb is going to be slightly smaller by one fourth power. So it's going to be x to the three fourths power. And it's the same if you think about veins, for example. Your main veins that are going from your heart have a very large volume or surface area. And when they branch out into your arms, or even smaller to bring blood to your cells, they're going to get smaller and smaller. And every time that they branch out and get smaller, they're going to get smaller with the radical of 3 quarters. So that's the Fibonacci series. Now you can see that everyday life, the way that we grow, the way that nature behaves, is actually a radical expression. So go out there to nature and think about it. There you have it. That's how you can apply radicals to everyday life. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. K.